hace calor Se pierde la arena y el mar Okay guys, another great workout. If you're eating as good as I am up in my household, y'all should be working out at least four days out of the week. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna send all these clips of all my workouts as always and getting ready to head to the grocery store to get some more ingredients for something that I'm cooking simple today. I'm doing a simple bacalaito. I'm frying it plain. Um, I have many different ways that I do bacalaito when I fry them. Sometimes I add peppers. Um, I've added some vegetables before into bacalao i've done a lot in my old and new youtube channel so um please check that out when you get a chance if you want some recipes on different ways to uh mix up the bacalaito and um so today i'm doing a simple bacalao just plain as is 
flour, simple. Uh, I do the Goya bacalao uh, in a packet, so I'm going to show you all that in a little bit. Um, after my shower, I'll show you everything as I do, laid out on my station, in front of my kitchen. And um, also, I'm going to do, I'm going to get a salad. I'm going to run out and get a salad. Um, I do have my days where I cook some really, really good, hefty stuff. You know, I have my cheat days, and I also have my days where I eat, try to eat very lightly. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a simple, dimple, dimple, dimple salad. Um, don't know what kind of salad I'm going to do, but I'm doing a simple salad. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix that up. Bacalao, um, I'm going to do it into pieces, chop it up into the salad. So good. So it'll be a fried bacalao, nice and toasty. Um, I always use canola oil. Um, that's the one that I prefer. And a little bit of olive oil. Um, after I'm done, just put it a little bit on top. And um, I'm going to chop it up into pieces on top of my salad. I'm also making a yellow rice on the side. I'm not sure if I'm going to do yellow or white because um, I actually still have some beans left from the, uh, the last time that I cooked that I froze up. Um, so I might just do like a white rice and, and bean because my son really likes white rice with ketchup. So if you ever see them ketchup and white rice plates, those are my babies. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, pretty much that's what's going on for today. So, ladies, get your workout in. Always try to look your best. That's what I do. 45, still going hard. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, not too hot. Hi guys, I just got back from Walmart. It's really nice out. It's still a little muggy, but it's okay. Um, so, um, this is going to be part two to my delicious bacalaitos that I'm doing very plain. I decided I'm just going to do a corn mix, like a vegetable can kind of salad. So, we'll see how it's going to look in a little bit. Um, yeah, so I'm really tired. Long day today. Um, so, I have to put some things away. I have this water in the fridge because we've been, my kids and me and my my king been just dogging out some water because all this heat. I know everybody's trying to stay cool, so try to do your best because I know it is rough, especially with us. We're still trying to get things done, so. Um, but um, everything is wonderful. I couldn't ask God for a brighter day today. So let me get all my ingredients laid out today, and we shall continue. Okay, now, okay, so here we are in my station here. Okay, guys, my beautiful grandbabies, look at that. Miss them so much, my angels. Anyway, um, okay, so we are up in my kitchen, and um, let me tell you something. My kitchen is almost done. We just need to put the TV up on the wall because we do plan on putting uh, TV up on the wall. And um, also, uh, we're uh, ordering a nice table. So we have a nice table coming, a high table, because my kitchen actually is not that big. But it's a perfect size for me. I love it. I'm absolutely in love with the Victorian um, detail to it and everything else. So I couldn't ask God for a better, beautiful, sweet kitchen that I have. Um, so, yeah. So let's get right to the ingredients. Yip, yip, yippee. All right. I miss you guys so much, as always. And like I said, until everything is done, next summer will be our summer where we will vacay and do things with the kiddos and all that good stuff. But right now, our main focus is on this house. And until everything is done and everything is good and ready, um, that's when we'll start planning to do some vacations because this summer just came and went like that. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. All right, if you're going to do... Um, by the way, depending on what side of Puerto Rico you come from, every Latina does things differently in their kitchen, depending on where you're from and from Puerto Rico and who taught you and all that good stuff, okay? So I keep my bacalao simple, and this is the simple way my mom used to do it at home. However, I do do a lot of my twists. So if you see that in some of my videos when I say my twist. Um, then you'll know that I'm doing something funky or something different to whatever I'm cooking, okay? But today we're going to keep it simple the way my mom used to do it at home, okay? So let's go to my station here so you can see all the ingredients. All right, so I do a perfect, um, it's a 
all-purpose uh, flour, okay? It, it doesn't have to be a name brand as long as it's all-purpose flour. I do like the gold metal, so that's the quality that I like. Um, so if, I, if you can go the extra dollar, go ahead and get that one. That is my best. All right. So all you need is some packets of salson, okay? Like I said, this is very simple. You need some clean spring water. I always use clean water. You need some of that flour, your bacalao, and that's pretty much it. The only thing, my little secret ingredient that I stick into this is too, is I do a spoon of sofrito. Make sure it is the tomato base, okay? That is goes really good with the with this bacalao when you fry it. And I do the simple, of course, salsón. Now, I want to tell you a little trick about... Um, when you get your packets of bacalao, whether it's the tropical one or the Goya one, those are the two that I usually get. Um, this one's just the Goya one. Um, a little trick that you can do for prepping before you do this. Um, I know a lot of women, they'll go and they'll take the scissors and cut the fish up. I do it too here and there, depending on my day. But if you want, if you're going to prep this ahead of time, all you have to do is break it up in maybe a couple of pieces okay like 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 a couple four six big chunks of pieces let it marinate in water after you clean it must clean it out first get all that salt out um let it marinate in the bowl in the refrigerator um you want to top it um of course with a lid or whatever and or put a plate on top i usually just do a plate <laughs> and um just let it sit for one day the next day all you have to do is open that bad boy up, take all the excessive water out, and it will shred. You, It will fall into literally little bitty pieces. Just like if you would put, put a fish in a pan and you would just crunch it. Same thing. If you would just, you know, mush it up. It, it's the same thing. But bacalaito is tough in a bag. So that is a trick that you can do. Um, you can just, mar um, not marinate, excuse me on that. Um, you can just put it in water. And fresh water make sure you get all the salt out leave it in a bowl in your refrigerator and as soon as the next day you go and you get your little you know drainer or whatever and this will shred all, all you have to do is take those chunks and go like this and it will turn into this which is what I love so that's one of my tricks that I do in my kitchen all right so let me get here and one out real quick so anyway um so those are the simple ingredients that I do. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick little video of everything. One, two, three. I have two avocados, Hase avocados. Hase, has, however you want to say it. I always say Hase. <laughs> Just a regular avocado. Um, I have some eggs because I plan on putting a dippy egg on top of my bacalao, fried bacalaito. I love doing that. It's one of my favorite things my mom used to do. I love it. So good. I'm doing, I decided I'm just going to do a white rice because since I, like I mentioned in my first video, I have some beans that I had marinated pretty good that we had a lot left over. So I froze them and that's little things you can do on days like this. Freeze it up and guarantee you the next day it will be, have more flavor. It'll be more delicious and all that good stuff. All right. Um, the salad that I'm doing, I'm using a red onion. I'm doing, uh, a butterhead, uh, lettuce. I'm doing some whole corn, corn. I'm doing Roman tomatoes, and I'm doing hearts of psalm. This is so delicious. This tastes really, really good in a can. I like to pop them in my mouth just like that. And it's great to do a salad with this stuff. I also have some parsley flakes under here just for presentation. I don't want to add no taste to this. It's going to have the perfect taste. And so there you have it. That is exactly what I'm doing today. A little bit of salt and pepper. And so we're going to get this started. And I'm going to start doing, uh, get this over here. I'm going to start putting in my oil. And we're going to do a little video here so I can show you how I fry this stuff and how I put it together. So simple, guys. So please check it out. Okay, guys, so here we go. <laughs> All right, so the first thing you want to do is throw that clean fish in there. So good. Nice and drained. Again, make sure it's nice and drained before you add in your ingredients. Okay, so I'm going to put three packets of salsong. Okay, this is about one of those big bags, just one. That's all I'm doing is one. So I'm putting in three packets of salsong. Okay. Because I want to give it a nice extra little flavor. Or two packets, I'm sorry. 
not three packets, two packets. Sorry about that. Two packets. <laughs> okay. And, um, yeah, I was just showing you what I was using. That's what I, that's there. Um, all right. And then you're going to go ahead and add in your lovely flour. Okay, so we're going to put this water here. And this is about a cup of water that I'm putting. Now, you got to make sure you measure everything. When you do a bacalaito, you don't want it to be too watery like when it comes in a box. And you don't want it to be too thick, even though I do like doing mine thick as well. So don't get me wrong on that. And I'm just going to go with my fingers because I love playing with my food. When it comes to stuff like this, I don't mind. And this is how you know how to combine everything together. Okay, so you want to make sure that you have that great texture when you fry this stuff, okay? So I'm going to add in a little bit more fat flour because I want it to be a little bit more thicker. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to grab my bag here because I, I plan on putting this in a container. I always put all my stuff in containers anyway. So like I said, just add it to more, more flour. Get it a little bit to your perfection how you want it. Okay, all right, and that looks like right where I want it to be. And you can just already tell by when you start mixing it up. As soon as you have that mix in there, you already know you got yourself a nice bacalaito. So look at that, so good. Now I'm making mine a little thin. You know how to combine everything together. Okay, so you want to make sure that you have that great texture when you fry this stuff, okay? So I'm going to add in a little bit more fat flour because I want it to be a little bit more thicker. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to grab my bag here because I, I plan on putting this in a container. I always put all my stuff in containers anyway. So like I said, just add it to more, more flour. Get it a little bit to your perfection how you want it. Okay, right. and that looks like right where I want it to be. And you can just already tell by when you start mixing it up. As soon as you have that mix in there, you already know you got yourself a nice bacalaito. So look at that, so good. Now I'm making mine a little thin. I'm not doing them really thick like I normally do. And if you check out my bacalaitos under Belinda Rodriguez on my YouTube channel, you will see all the fun on my old channel and my new channel that I've done so many different things with these bacalaitos. More on my old channel. Um, so those of you that know, you can check that out and go and check out all my uploads on there. All right, so let's do the very next step, which is very simple, and that's all she wrote. Okay, guys, so I have my fish batter here to perfection the way I want it. So at this point, after you do that, you want to add in that base sofrito, okay? It's a tomato base, just a spoon, and that's for one bag, just one spoon, and then just mix it all up. 